you mentioned, Emscripts is a, a mobile pharmacy platform that's designed to help patients manage their prescriptions, their health relationship, their refills uh, with their pharmacy. Uh, essentially, we sell our application, our platform to pharmacies. They then provide it to their customers and patients uh, for their use. A uh, couple things when we were starting to talk about uh, mobile health. Uh, some of the challenges that typically come up are trust and disintermediation, uh, user acquisition, and stickiness. People, it's very difficult to get in between a patient and a doctor, patient and a pharmacist. So instead, we wanted to reinforce that model. Uh, disintermediation, you hear people say things like, well, we're going to make the pharmacy go away. We're going to make the PBM go away. We're going to completely redefine the ecosystem. User acquisition. Uh, a lot of, of, of M Health plays are consumer marketing plays. They're very expensive. They're uh, very risky. And stickiness. How do you get people to continue to use this system? Now, pharmacies, on the other hand, have a particular need. Um, there's a high demand for customer service uh, and convenience. There's a reason there, and, the, and there's a very profitable margin in there. There's a reason there's a prof uh, pharmacy on every corner. Uh, adherence. The, if people stay adherent to their drugs, pharmacies make money. If pharmacies make money, that's good for us. And loyalty. It's a very important for people or pharmacies to get customers young. Up to 30% of Americans will end up with a chronic illness. It's a staggeringly large number, but it underscores the importance of getting a young customer for a pharmacy. Pharmacy market in particular is huge. 3.7 billion prescriptions were written last year. That's 12 fills per capita in the United States. Prescriptions are uh, generally net between nine and $16 gross profit per script. So there's a lot of money in there. It's a high transaction volume. There are a lot of pharmacies and prescriptions are valuable parts of the business. All this combines to mean it's a high transaction, high volume market. And, there, and if we can, if we can, uh, uh, align our interests with the pharmacy's interests, we can actually have a very successful business model. So what do we do? We first integrated with the back-end systems. We spent two years integrating this platform with back-end uh, POS and, and RX systems. What that means to you as a customer is, if you're a pharmacy customer of ours and you walk in with a paper prescription, you're asked a simple question. Would you like to give me your mobile number so I can send a, ref a, a, a reminder or a text message to you when your prescription's ready for pickup? It's simple, it's easy, it boils all the the, it boils the entire value proposition down to a simple transaction. You type that number into the back-end RX system and hit the R and the Emscripts uh, button. We set up an account for you. We let you know when your prescription's ready for pickup. We start monitoring your account. We let you know when the script's ready for refill again. We easily make it easy for you to download the app. And once you download the app, we have an on-phone application presence with you that allows you to manage your scripts and your pharmacies and your doctors. We allow you to self-identify health information. All this through the brand of the pharmacy. That also allows us to advertise through it. We can share that advertising revenue back with those pharmacies. Lastly, we're, we're accumulating an immense amount of data about how, when, where, why people take their prescriptions. This is very, very valuable to us in many different ways. One, we can sell it back into pharmaceuticals. We can tell drug uh, marketing managers exactly how their drugs are doing, um, when people switched over to generics, why people take their prescriptions. We've got a two-way text messaging engine that allows us to ask simple questions in the process to add additional information in. We can also bundle that together with our advertising platform. So we can, add a, we can sell an advertising platform, say, to, a, to Big Pharma, on the one hand, which is a basic ad, but on the other hand, I can send it out with uh, follow-up metrics that say, this is how it did. This is how, this is your return on investment for that. It's worth a lot of money to these folks, and it's very, very valuable to everybody in that ecosystem. Essentially, I've done a lot of things in my career. I've never seen anything aligned so nicely as adherence. If we keep patients adherent, we make money, pharmacies make money, doctors are happy, payers are happy, uh, patients are happy and healthier, and it reduces the cost to the U.S. healthcare and, and world healthcare system dramatically. So our business strategy. First, we private label our applications out to the pharmacies. We weren't, if you think about what I talked about earlier with regard to uh, trust, uh, the trust play generally is very difficult to pull off. So by allowing the pharmacies to private label this, we essentially use them to get customers on our behalf. And so our customer acquisition costs are zero. Well, they're a little more than zero, but it's close. And because those pharmacies are doing it inside the retail process, you just walked up the prescription, nothing changed. It's easy to sign customers up. We see 10%, we're expecting 10% um, adoption rate. In our early rates, we're growing 50% um, uh, week over week right now. Um, but we think those are realistic. 
We align with their revenues. So when pharmacies make money, we make money. We're not trying to disintermediate. We're trying to support that process and make it more efficient and make people healthier. We integrate with Rx and other vendors to drive adoption. Um, we're allowing a lot of different factors to help us get this thing into hands, but it's also very sticky. People who but download our applications or start using our prescription process, continue to use it. They check it once a week. They refill more than once a month, and that's important. And lastly, this is a business that has multiple revenue streams. Pharmacies pay us well for what we do because they're making money when people stay adherent. They're paying us base revenue. They're paying us active user fees. We also have advertising revenues that we can charge both to CPG um, folks and also to pharmaceuticals. Adherence and usage data, we can package up both with our advertising, but we also sell that back into pharma. Health content, we've had uh, talks with several health content vendors who want to add their health content in. As our users start to self-identify uh, with disease states and other information, we're the perfect trusted platform to roll out lots of ideas that you've seen here today or, or percolating up in the mHealth uh, ecosystem. Mobile commerce expansion. Our customers are asking us to get into more commerce. We're releasing an application this month that includes shopping lists and some other areas. We're doing a lot of incentive-based compliance. So uh, one of our customers is doing a 10 for 10 program. Every time you refill 10, prescri you fill 10 prescriptions, you get a $10 coupon. It's good for everybody in that realm as well, and it's a nice way to incent behavior. And lastly, supermarket apps and notifications. Um, uh, even today, we're quickly becoming one of the biggest supermarket apps. That's great because it's additional transactions, it's additional visits to the store, and we can help people get out into the store and, and actually form a more healthy visit to the broader uh, supermarket experience. Progress to date. We've sold six large pharmacy chains. We signed one today. We're hoping to sign two more this month. Uh, we expect to sign four more in February. Five of those are live. We've got data coming back in. You can see that our SMS message volume is growing significantly. You can't maybe see the details of that, but those are weekly totals. Um, and they're growing very, very nicely for us. People are paying us. We're making money. Um, the, <laughs> the only people out there uh, who are competing with us is one, Walgreens. Walgreens is competing with us, and it was the best thing that ever happened to us. They put a placard on every single store, in every single city in this country saying, ask us about mobile. Ask us how we drove 6%, I'm sorry, 3% of our users into our mobile application in like under a year and a half. Out of 50% or over 40% of all their online transactions are happening through their mobile refill by scan. That means that 10 years of their web-based services, half of that is gone in a year and a half to mobile. So what we think is, we put ourselves in an excellent position. We've got a great team. It's a team I've worked with for a long time. Um, we've got retail experience. We've got healthcare experience. And more importantly than you'd expect, we have enterprise experience. So we've built those great interfaces into the back end system to make it easy for people to sign up. And it makes it really easy for people to stay on board. To, to stop using our service, you really have to actively say to yourself, you know what? I don't want that reminder when my prescription's ready for refill, or I don't want to remind that dosage reminder, or I don't want to know when my prescription's um, due for a refill. It's a very difficult question to do it, and nobody's dropping off of our platform. So the bottom line, we save consumers time and money, and we improve their health, but we drive revenue to pharmacies. People are converging on mobile in this space. This, pharmacies chop up this space into nice chunks of two to 40 million customers. They're underappreciated. They need customer service. They need a robust, uh, a robust mobile platform. Um, it's important to them. They will drive the service on our behalf and they will drive real revenues to us. So we're at the intersection of a lot of great things. Pharmaceutical advertising sales, all looking to push into mobile advertising. Uh, adherence, all looking to the mobile side. Everything is converging onto us, and we love where we are. We're growing fast. Um, we're out there looking to raise some money. Um, we've created a market for ourselves. Um, we don't have an active competitor except for in-house systems right now, but we know that's going to change. Um, we are Over half of our development team is focused on implementation integration service, which is, is a great place to be, but we're looking to drive um, additional functionality and capability. We're looking to monetize other areas. Right now, it's sort of a land grab for us. So it's how many pharmacies can you sign up and how many people can you get to use it? But we'd like to get, uh, a, a, be a little more aggressive in that area. And uh, we're very excited about where we are. Thank you very much.